So welcome this morning. It's the first time we've been together for about a month. So um, I have been doing a lot of walking in this past month. So I'm really feeling very tight in the back of my legs. I'm doing so much walking. So we're going to do a little bit of loosening up at the back of the legs because we tend to walk a lot more in the spring. What we do in the class today is just kind of go through a little bit of movement through the whole body and see if we can identify places where we might be feeling a little bit of tension or stiffness. And as we move from winter activities into spring activities, we tend to be using different sets of muscles. So we just want to kind of find out where we're at with our body this morning. So I thought we would start off with um, just finding a nice, comfortable sitting position. <clears throat> you can take your block and just place it under your sitting bones, that sort of the point of two bones that and we're doing this um, I'd like you all to sit on sit up on the block they found out uh, a lot of things about yoga in the last little while some of it is quite shocking to yoga traditionalists uh, and it also has moved over into the meditation community and it is the fact that sitting cross-legged like that sitting cross-legged in any way is very very hard on your body and you can do it for a number of years while you're younger, but then as you get older, uh, it, you start suffering from stress that you've caused, particularly around the knees. So find yourself somewhere comfortable to sit. You might want to sit with your feet out in front. You might want to take a position like this. And just find yourself somewhere really nice and comfortable. We'll start off by just bringing our awareness inside. So just gently close your eyes and begin to allow your breath to deepen. And just feel how your body is never completely still. That your body is always moving gently with the inflow and the outflow. So now take the focus of your breath into your belly and feel as you inhale how your belly expands outward and on the inhale how your ribs move toward the spine. Focus your awareness deep in your abdomen and feel how your breathing is smooth, and deep, and diaphragmatic. With each inhale, the diaphragm drops down toward the belly. Feel how your body is resting. Let all of the tension that might be in your muscles just relax and flow down your spine down into your sitting bones, out through the block, into the ground. Feel your legs relaxed and heavy. Feel a deep sense of relaxation flowing from the top of your head, like warm honey melting down your body, taking with it all the tension and contraction in the muscles. Now bring your awareness to the inner lining of the nostrils. As you inhale, feel how the air going in through the nostrils is cool. And as you exhale, feel the air warm against the inner lining. These are very subtle sensations. Allow your mind to rest in the feeling of coolness on the inhale and warmth on the exhale.
feel your breath begin to deepen back down into the belly. And then once again, bring your awareness to the inner lining in the nostrils. Feeling the cool air entering the body on the inhale, and the warm air leaving the body on the exhale. And as you inhale, allow your awareness to drop and flow gently from the center of your nose and the nostrils down the chest into the center of the chest, into your heart. As you exhale, feel the energy in the air moving up from the heart center, up into the nostrils, and then leaving the body. Take a very deep inhale, then a very deep exhale. Inhale once more, and on this next exhale, gently open your eyes, keeping your gaze down at the floor in front of you. And just sit for a moment and let the energy and breath move through the body. You might feel a certain amount of calmness as we've moved from the sympathetic into the parasympathetic nervous system. Take your palms together at the front of your heart. Rub your palms together and generate some heat, some energy. And then just take your palms and just gently pop your face. Feel the warmth and the energy moving from your hands, transferring into your face. And at the same time, feel energy from your eyes and your cheeks, your nose moving from the face into the hands. And then just gently take your hands away from your body and just fingers. Now we're going to do a very gentle massage of the face. You can just generate a little bit more energy. And then just Taking your hands, rub all around your face, rub around your eyes. There's 12 muscles around the eyes that we're encouraging to relax. Rub down the bridge of the nose. Across the cheekbone under the eye. Around the cheeks. You can go across the top of the lip and you can use your fingertips and just gently tap across the top lip. And you can tap down around the mouth, tap up the sides of the jawbone, and then tap up to just in front of the ear. Take two fingers, your two first fingers, place them in front of your ear and very lightly massage this area. And then allow your fingers to slide up and around your ear to the back of your ear where you'll feel a little groove just under the occipital bone. And just massage a little bit there. It's really good if you feel like you're getting a sore throat or your sinuses are getting that's a really good place to massage. And then just bring your head lightly forward and then move your fingers along the occipital bone, the bone in the back of the head, until you find a little notch. And just gently massage there. And then bring your hands up to the top of your head and we'll just do a little bit of topping, tapping on that. Up the head, and you can tap down the sides. Then bring your hands down to your neck, and very gently just stroke your neck from the ear down toward the shoulder, 
And imagining as you're stroking, you're stroking and softening muscles that have contracted and probably stayed contracted. If you've done any work this week, bending over a computer or over a sewing machine, or sink full of dishes, rub the front of the neck, and the back, try to rub the tension out of all the parts of the neck. And then take your fingers into two kind of like lobster claws and just massage along the very upper parts of your shoulders. And you can really kind of dig in and squeeze a little. If you find any places that are stiff or sore, you can just hold there for a moment. You're bringing fresh blood into the muscle and as you release the tension, toxins flow out with the old blood and fresh oxygenated blood moves in and starts relaxing the muscles. And then just down shoulders. We'll place our hands. Just take a moment. Breathe into <clears throat> your sitting bones. So feel your whole body sinking down into the block. But also feel that your spine is relaxed and is supporting. Now very gently make yourself move up into a standing position. <clears throat> and we're going to work a little bit this morning with Tadasana or mountain pose, which is the foundational, you say the foundational pose of yoga. So I was thinking about balance this week, and I thought there are two parts of balance. Balance consists both stability and movement. So I thought what we would do is we would uh, stand in mountain pose. So we're standing with our feet about hip width apart. And we want to ground our weight into all four corners of our feet. So practice just walking from the inside of your toes and the inside edge of your heel out to the outer edges. And then come back to center. And then very gently rock forward on the toes and then back on the heels. Forward and back. And then come to center. Feel that your ankles are lifting and pulling up towards your knees, so there's a nice space in your arches. At the same time, bring your awareness to your feet and see if you can feel the mat with all four corners of your feet. The little toe side, the big toe side, and both corners of the heel. And then bring your awareness to the ball of your foot. Now see if you can distribute your weight evenly on five points of the feet. On the ball and on the four of the corners. Feel your kneecaps lifting up toward your thighs. Feel that your hips are directly over your knees. Close your hands to kind of just adjust your pelvis a little. We'll take our arms out to the sides, and then when we get halfway, we'll spin the palms up, bring the arms up overhead, and then very gently just let the arms come back. Make certain that your chin is parallel to the mat, so that you're not looking back or leaning forward, so that your head is perfectly centered on the shoulders. <coughs> Lift the shoulders, shrug them up to the ears as far as you can, and then just very gently bring the shoulder blades toward one another, so you're rolling your shoulders toward the back of the 
evening. And then just let your shoulders fall gently down. Once more, bring the shoulders up to the ear. Curve from around so that your shoulder blades are meeting at the back. And then just very gently fall. And once more, bring the shoulders up. going to inhale and we're going to bring the arms up so the palms are facing each other slightly behind the ears if we can just push the arm slightly back and then bring the arms back down. Now this time as we raise the arms we're going to shift our weight slightly forward so that the weight is on the ball of the foot. We're going to lift the heels and inhale up, and then exhale down. And repeat this movement on your own three to six times, sensing into your body and feel how hard your body is actually working in this very simple movement to keep yourself in balance. Try when you get to the top, to extend the period of time you're holding for. And then up. And then just take a moment when you're finished to just give yourself a shake from side to side. This time we're going to inhale and we're going to bring our palms up. Shoulder width and shoulder height. And then bring the palms down. So we'll inhale, bring the palms up. And we'll hold for as long as we can hold and feel comfortable. If you start shaking or feel like you're going to lose your balance, then just bring your this time as we raise our arms, we're going to shift our weight back onto the heels. We're going to try to keep the balls of the feet on the mat while lifting the toes up. So we're going to inhale, bend the knees, sink the hips, lift the toes, inhale. And then when you're ready, Straighten the knees and exhale. And once more, we'll inhale. Root the balls of the feet into the mat. Lift the toes as high as you can. And then exhale. And you can repeat that movement one more time. the first movement one more time and see if you can feel a difference between what parts of your bodies are working to keep you in balance when you're on your heels. Now using just a little bit more balance, I'm going to take the ball and just put the ball underneath the right foot and use the ball as a massager. Just roll it around in circles around all parts of your feet, back and forth in lines along the fascia. If you come to any places that feel a little tender, you can just pause there and seconds and then release and often at this time of year because we've taken our winter boots off 
our feet are feeling quite vulnerable. Lots of times our feet get lots of, our legs get lots of support in the ankles when we're wearing boots. So what we want to do is reawaken the bottom of our foot in contact with the ground. And then when you're ready, you can switch over to the other side. And then when you're done, just take a moment to feel into the bottom of your feet. Do your feet feel like they're making more contact with the ground now? Do you have more sense of being rooted on the mat? So we're waking up the bottom of your feet. I'm going to do one more small balance exercise and we're going to use the ball for this. And I'm going to show you a couple of options, three options, and you can choose to move through the range of these options or just play around with one. So what I want to play around with is um, something that's very interesting. We know that the brain does not like to multitask. In fact, the brain is never multitasking. It's just rapidly switching back and forth between linear sequences. But they've discovered recently that what the brain likes to do very much is do two things at the same time. One of the things that the, the brain body work very well to do together is tossing a ball back and forth like this while standing in a balanced pose. So the first thing we're going to do is just hold the ball still in one hand and find a balanced pose that's a little bit challenging for you. So it might be just inhaling, shifting the weight to the left leg and bringing the right knee up or you might want to bring the knee to the side, or you might want to bring the knee out to the back. And just try doing this on both feet, just keeping the ball still in your hand. Kind of get a sense of my stable leg is working really hard in the ankle to keep me upright. Now this time, go through the same kind of range of exploration, but do it um, as you're tossing the ball from hand to hand. Does keeping the balance pose feel any easier when you're concentrating on tossing the ball? or I, <laughs> I'm still being challenged. <laughs> I got this little piece of information from a man named Dr. Baxter Bell, who's a physician and a yoga teacher. I just got an email from him this morning where he has his class not only doing this, he, they've moved on to two balls. Wow. So they <laughs> I suspect by the end he'll have a juggling, so next week we'll move on to two balls. So we'll just put the balls off to the side. <clears throat> now we're going to come down into a sitting position and there's a variety of ways. You can just sit down like Jim is doing <laughs> or we can bend the knees, inhale the arms up and then just very gently sink down and as soon as you need to just So once again, we'll just take the lock and sit up on the lock for a minute. Okay. Rebel in the front row. <laughs> okay, so Jim is finding that, that he's more comfortable without sitting on the block, so if you want to try, 
that, that's, that's fine too. So yoga is all about doing what makes your particular body feel its best. So anything you do that you want to modify, go ahead and modify. Anything you just want to roll on your back and relax, that's good too. So I thought what we'd do now is just spend a little bit more time relaxing around the neck and shoulders. So I'm just going to inhale the arm up and let the hand drape over the head and touch on the head just above the ear so that the warmth of your palm and the warmth of your head are mixing together. Inhale, and then on the exhale, just very gently guide the head to the shoulder. Take a deep breath. Relax both shoulders down. Slide the palm along the top of the head to just above the other ear, and then very gently Inhale the other arm up, letting the palm drape gracefully over the head, and then relaxing both shoulders. Just very gently guide the head toward the shoulder. And then let the palm slide around the top of the head to cut the skull just above the ear. And very gently. So the next movement we're going to do is very familiar to anyone who's been to an exercise class. So we're going to do it very gently, very carefully. And we're just going to tip the head down to the chin and then roll the head to the shoulder just a little bit back and down. And then you get back to the chest, reverse direction. Bring your head up and look toward the front of the room. And we're going to do something that's very interesting, but it feels very strange. So we're going to take our head in our hands, and we're going to move our head in the same circular motion, but we're not going to use the muscles of the neck. We're going to keep the neck and the shoulders completely relaxed, or as relaxed as we can. We're going to use our hands to guide the head forward, side and then to the back. You can press into your skull just a little bit so that you really have the sense that it's your hands and then back in the other direction. And then back to center. And then just place your hands on your palms and see if you can feel any kind of a different sense of relaxation of the scanning muscles up the side of the neck. It's very rarely we ever do anything without contracting our neck muscles, whether we need to use the neck muscles or not. We're continually tensing around the face and the head. Often they did a, some research where they had people who were trying on new shoes and found out the first thing people did before they put their foot in the shoe was tense up their shoulders and their neck and their face. So we have to really work at keeping, keeping our face soft and relaxed. So we're going to take the block out and we're going to move into a table position. Now, Often, this used to be considered a classic position in yoga that everybody could do the table position. And of course, now they've realized that this is very, very hard on the knees. So you may want to take your mat and just fold it up a little bit like this. So you have a little extra padding underneath your knees. If you have really sensitive knees, you could take an extra 
the mat to put the mat. This is also nice too because you have the sense of your feet and you're totally being on the floor instead. So we're going to move through a couple of cow-cat variations. So starting from table pose, your arms are coming straight down from your shoulders. Your hands are spread, your fingers are spread as wide apart as possible, about shoulder width. The femurs coming straight down from the hip bone. You can have your feet flat on the mat, or you can curl your toes under. So the first thing we do is we move into the cow position. And to move into the cow position, we inhale, let the belly sink down. And if you wish, you can lift the tailbone. And keep your gaze just a few inches of your hands. Then exhale, lift the belly up and round the back, let the head drop heavily between the arms. And then inhale, drop the belly. This time you can lift your gaze to look toward the middle. And then exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then just move through a nice flowing cow cat, allowing your breath to move your body. Inhale. And as you move through the flexion of your spine, see if you can still be aware of the cool air on the inside of the nostrils as you inhale, and as you round your back into cat the warm air. to center. This time as you inhale, we're going to stay in table pose. As we inhale, we're going to lift the right arm, turn the palm inward, and lift the arm just a little bit above the ear. Hold it for one deep breath, and then release the arm to the neck. Inhale and lift left arm just a little bit above the ear, palm turn inward. Hold for a nice deep breath and then lower. Once more, inhale, lifting right arm. And exhale. Inhale. Reach your fingertips out toward the window. Feel the stretch of the whole left side of the body. And once more, inhale, right arm up. And feel how as you lift onto three limbs, the body shifts and brings you back into balance. Press your palms into the mat. Sink your hips back. And come down into child pose. Just rest. Then on the next inhale, 
come back into table pose. <clears throat> this time we're going to slide the right leg long, curl the toes under. You might want to take the bend out of the mat. We're just going to very gently inhale and lift the leg, but no higher than the hip. So we don't want to put any stress on the lower back. Keep your gaze directed down toward the mat. Hold for a nice deep, long breath. And then bring the foot back to the mat. And then once more, the same leg, inhale. And now one deep, complete breath. And then once more, we'll inhale. Keep your breathing smooth and gentle. And then bring your foot, your toes to the mat. Bend the right knee. Just take a moment in table pose. So let your head hang between the arms, heavy. Give a little nod, yes. A little shake, no. So we're tractioning the muscles along the back of the neck, releasing down the shoulders. You bring your head back to gazing between the hands. Slide the left leg back, toes curled under. Try to keep your hips and your pelvis straight so that as we inhale and gently lift the leg, no higher than the hip, the pelvis and the hips are in a straight line. Balance a teacup on your back and nothing will spill. And then exhale, lay it down. Once more, inhale, the leg up. Keep your heel pointing toward the ceiling, your foot flexed. And then exhale, down. And once more, inhale. Bring the leg up. Feel the leg, the heel, reaching toward the back wall, that you're becoming long. And then back down. Bring both knees together. Press your palms into the mat and just sink back. Hips back into child pose. For one breath. And then come back into table position. This time we're going to slide the right leg back, toes curled under. Shift your weight into the right side of your body. And as you inhale, gently lift the right leg and at the same time, the left arm. Hold until you feel a little shaky. And then just relax back down. Once more, slide the right leg back and lift the right leg and the left arm. And then down to the back. This time we'll slide the left leg back. Inhale the left leg up, keeping your hips level, arm just moving forward, and then back down. Once more, slide the left leg back, lift the right arm, and feel this lovely diagonal stretch across the body. Shift back into child's pose. Take a moment to let your breath settle and even. And then when you're ready, come up to table pose. Walk your knees forward between your hands. Spread your feet apart and then sink back down. And then bring your legs around. Now we're just 
going to do a little bit of um, bringing some fluid to the spine. So we're just going to rock a little bit along the spine. So just take your hands either underneath your knees or on top of your knees and just roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time. And then just kind of gently rock yourself along your spine. You can go as slowly or as quickly as you like. Just bringing some fluid and some space between the vertebrae. Waking up the spine. And then eventually just roll back so that you're lying on your back. And you can bring your feet down so that your feet are on the mat and your knees are pointing up toward the ceiling. Take your arms out to the side, that shoulder, right, out to the side of your body. Inhale, and as you exhale, just let your knees fall over toward the right. Take a deep inhale, and then on the exhale, bring your knees back up to center. And this time on the exhale, let your knees fall over to the left. They may go over a few inches, they may go over way to the mat. Keep your shoulders rooted on the mat, keep your head on the mat, and then bring your knees back up to standing. This time, as you very gently let your legs and knees fall over to the right, turn the head in the opposite direction and look over the left shoulder. Look at the left hand. And then bring both the head and the knees back up to center. And then very gently exhale. Let the knees fall to the opposite side. Look over the other hand. Now you have your spine in a really beautiful, a complicated twist. And then bring your knees back up, pointing at the ceiling. Bring your hands down to the side of your body with the palms either facing downward or you can flip your palms up to face the ceiling. Whichever feels most relaxed and most comfortable, across your shoulders and your collarbones. Most people find that there's a greater opening across the collarbones if their palms are facing the ceiling. But experiment and see what feels right for you. Now we're going to straighten the legs out so that your legs are straight out in front of the body. We're going to move through a series of just lifting the leg, one leg at a time. But we're not going to lift the leg high, we're only going to lift, the. if we're lifting the right leg, we're only going to lift it about as high as the toes of the left. We're going to play a little bit with imagination and feeling awareness in your body. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift the right leg, inhale, lift the right leg up just slightly, flex the foot, and then lower the right leg. And the same thing with the left leg, we're just going to very gently lift the leg, hold it for a moment, and then lower it. You might choose to lift the leg on the inhale, and lower it on the exhale, and on the other side, lift on the inhale, lower on the exhale. And now this time we're going to inhale, and then on the exhale we're going to lift the leg, and then lower on the inhale, lift on the exhale, lower on the inhale. Of 
Close your eyes and bring your awareness deep inside your body. I'm going to look at how does the body move. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is bring your awareness, bring your focus to your right leg. And imagine that you're lifting your right leg in the air. And now, as you inhale, let your right leg float up to meet your imaginary leg. Hold for a breath. And then exhale, bring the leg down to the ground. Once more on the same side. And feel as you imagine your leg lifting, feel how all the muscles in your core already begin to engage before you even make a movement. So imagine that you've lifted your leg up, and now just let your leg float up to meet your imaginary leg. And then let your leg drop down. Once more, imagine you're lifting your leg, feel the core engaged, and then just float the leg up to meet the imaginary leg. And then let your leg come down to the mat. Now on the other side, bring your awareness into your left leg, and imagine that you're lifting your left leg up in the air, and then just let your left leg float up to meet imaginary leg. And then exhale, both legs down to the mat. Imagine the leg lifting, float the leg up, and then let the both legs come down. And then once more, imagine the leg lifting, feel the core engage, and then feel your leg just float effortlessly up. Just take a moment to feel into the mat. Inhale, bend your knees, and then bring your knees up to your chest. Place your palms on your knees. And then just very gently begin to make small circles with both knees going in the same direction. And feel how this movement is engaging the core, strengthening the muscles in the stomach, but also that you're massaging and relaxing and releasing tension in the lower back. And then gradually start making the circles a little bit larger, a little bit larger. And then when the circle gets as large as you can, make it begin to go in the opposite direction, making the circles increasingly and slowly small. Bring your feet down to the mat. Make sure that you have your block close at hand so that you can grab your block with the right hand. I'm going to inhale and just as we exhale, just feel the lower back pressing into the mat. So you could actually put your left hand on your abdomen and as you exhale, just feel your lower back pressing against the mat. And then as you inhale, feel how your tailbone rolls under and your lower back lifts. So just very gently move through this pressing and lifting of the lower back.
This time, inhale and press your feet into the mat and lift your buttocks in the air. Hold for a moment and then exhale, put back down to the mat. Once more, inhale, press into the feet, lift the pelvis. Bridge and then exhale. Back down. Once more, lift the hips. This time, take the block, place the block underneath your sacrum. So you wiggle it around till you find somewhere that's nice and comfortable. Let your hands fall out to the side of the mat, palms upward. And just relax and release and feel all the weight in your back distributing itself along the block, sinking into the block. And the next inhale, lift your right knee, right leg. Just place your palm on your right knee and very gently, without falling off the block, just press your knee toward your chest. And then let go and bring your right foot to the floor. And inhale and bring your left knee to the chest. And then just very gently press down toward your body. What we're doing in this motion is relaxing the head of the femur into the hip socket. So we're loosening and relaxing the one going. And then bring both knees to the mat. And then very gently lift both knees toward the chest. Careful not to fall off the block and just very gently. And then let go of the legs, bring both feet to the mat. Inhale, press in to your feet, lift your hips. Take the block out from underneath. And then let your hips sink back down to the mat. And then very gently, just let your legs fall to the right, your knees fall to the left, so you're, as if your legs and your bent knees were giant windshield wipers. Just windshield wiper back and forth across the midline of your body. And this is relaxing any contraction we've created in the lower back. And then bring the knees back to center. Slide your legs out straight, feet about hip width apart. Your arms should be at the side of your body at about 30 degrees, angle away from the body. Very gently begin to roll your head from side to side so that you're very gently rolling along the occipital bone. Very gently rocking the brain inside the fluid and the skull. And then let your head come to a comfortable resting position with the nose pointing to the ceiling. Roll your palms up toward the ceiling and then in toward the mat. Roll them toward the ceiling. palms into the mat. And this time as you roll your palms toward the ceiling, feel the change along the shoulder blades and collarbones as you open from the heart center. Just relax with your palms toward the ceiling and your fingers spread apart. And then flex your feet 
Let your toes fall in towards one another and then fall out toward the side. Feel how this gently changes the pressure on the lower back, how it opens the hips. And then rest with your feet pointing out, your toes pointing to opposite sides of the Take your chin just lightly toward the chest. Close your eyes. Feel the energy moving through your body and you've created morning, becoming one with the energy of your being, so you're integrating the movement into the self. Feel the deep relaxation flowing from the top of the head, down along the neck, down the shoulders, out the arms to the tips of the fingers. Feel your chest and your torso sinking back down to the mat. Feel your spine and your hips grounded. Feel how your body is held by the earth. Feel how your body is constantly, gently moving with the vibration of the Earth's energy, the flow of your inhale and your exhale. Feel how the thighs and the hips are heavy and relaxed, sinking down into the mat. Your knees are relaxed, your lower legs are relaxed. There's a deep relaxation in the feet, in the ankles, in the toes. The whole body from the top of the head to the tips of the fingers to the tips of the toes is deeply relaxed, yet also energized, filled with fresh life force, filled with breath, blood, For a moment, bring your awareness to the inner lining of your nostrils. Feel the cool air entering the nostrils and moving from the nose down into the center of the chest and filling the heart center with warmth. And feel on the exhale that warmth moving from the heart center up into the nose and out into the rest of the universe. Feel your breath begin to deepen. Feel your inhale move from the nose to the heart center down into the abdomen, filling the belly, rooting and grounding. Feel the breath bringing a bit of more movement to the body. Begin to wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Bring a little bit of the dance of life down through your breath, through your spine. Bring your legs together so that your feet are touching one another. And then bend your knees and stand your feet up on the floor. 
On the next inhale, fold your knees toward your chest. Put your feet off the ground. Wrap your arms around your legs. Just take a moment to give yourself a nice big hug. Grateful for the energy moving through the body, for the opportunity to move with this energy this morning. And then when you're ready, just gently roll over onto your right side. Take a pause for a moment, and then we're going to use our arms to push ourselves up to sitting, but see if you can push yourself up and let your head and your neck be the last part of your body to come up right, so that we keep that tension out of the head and neck as long as we can. So just gently bring yourself up to sitting. Just inhale. to thank one another for practicing together this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then I'll just uh, 